514 left. A couple of substitutions now for the West. Joseph Katuka down low. There's Chris Warren. Finds Krasik, comes to the ball, finds Parsons, pump fake. So she shoots the three. No good. Strong rebound by Gonzalez. In the corner, three-point attempt, falling down. No good. Rodriguez, or excuse me, Parsons up ahead to Brown. Or excuse me, Gary Clark. Great outlet, outlet pass by Chandler Parsons. And a nice pass from Parra in between the legs of Warren. Woo! And they're going to call it travel. So tall, they call traveling. I don't know if you saw that. Parra, as he's... Yeah, I saw the <laughs> You saw him between the leg pass through the defender. G. Michael. Nice pass again. Well, as, as we look at the score, 4-6, to 6, 3 to 2, the West is starting to run away with this, and I think Shecky is about to make some substitutions. Nice dribble good power. Ball handling skills. He has some nice handles. Alvario over to Grove. From way deep. Count that one. Javi Gonzalez. That's a big shot. They keep him in the game. Warren finds your Tio. As I said, my, my first time seeing him play, I'm impressed with him. Nice point guard himself. He's more of a scorer, though. Led his team to uh, the state championship game where they lost in overtime to Pompano Beach Ely. And, and, and going back to the comments about Shaqi, I remember when I was still in school when they had the state tournament in Tallahassee when we won our state championship team. I still remember him with the stingerees. I, He's one heck of a coach uh, with the likes of players, of, actually former players like Stephen Edwards, Douglas Edwards. Uh, it's just amazing. The only time that I actually saw them in a discomfort situation when he played Andre Cooper in Jacksonville, Jackson. And My just, fifth grade year. Just to uh, set your background a little bit, uh, Kelvin, you are uh, a graduate of uh, FAMU High in uh, Tallahassee, right. Florida, where yes, you're, uh, your team won back-to-back -back state titles in Class 1A, I believe, at the time, right? Yes, sir. All right. And then you went on to uh, Florida a University and um, won a MEAC championship with the Rattlers. Yes, sir, 1996. In 1996. Correct. Nice strong oh, nice rip there move. by Clark. Nice and a follow. Strong follow. Comes Stays out. with it. Devin Lamb, Lamb with the ball. Oh, Cross over to the basket. Left move. hand, Devin Lamb. He left Joey Rodriguez in his tracks with a great move. Pull up. The basket is good. Joey it's, Clark is showing some promise out here. It's tough to say who I like more right now. I, I've seen Chandler Parsons, and he's putting on a show, definitely. But I really like Gary Clark. Yeah, he's doing it at both ends of the floor, but at the same time, this should be assist number eight for Joey Rodriguez. To his future high school, college teammate, exactly. Lance Curse. Devin Lamb for three, no good. Way up high goes Mick Brown to Rodriguez. Way up high to Clark, unable to, just kind of slipped out of his hands, really. Back comes Para. He'll go to Salukas. Great pass. Saluskis with the basket. 52-43. West leading. 2-30. Rodriguez carded closely by O'Donnell. Swan in the corner. No good. O'Donnell up ahead. He's got three on two. And too much hot sauce. It was a it, it was he put a, he put a some sort of a backward spin. Well, I saw the, I actually saw the pass. It was a great thought, but he was too close, and he should have just made the easier pass to the right side for the easy right hand layup. But well, he had a man on his right side that he probably could have yeah. easily made a nice handoff to. But of course, these guys are prominent player from their school, probably more the leading scorers, and they want to actually put a good show on for these fans. Nick Brown going to the basket. He's fouled by Vita Saluskis. Fifty-two forty-three is our score. Fast-paced game as we expected. 
Right now, early favorites going into the second half, I would say from the west side, Brian would be MVP candidates are Joey Rodriguez, Taylor Parsons, and Gary Clark. Nick Brown committed to Virginia Commonwealth along with Joey Rodriguez and Lance Curse. So three VCU Rams on the court right now. Coach Anthony Grant has got to love the future. Nice pick by Rodriguez. He decides to go with the easy two points that time. Very smart, very smart. And give some credit there to Eric Rodriguez with the no-look pass. And Vita Saluskis come down with it. Rodriguez guarded by O'Donnell. Baseline all the way to the other side. And they're going to say it was deflected out of bounds. Checking into the ball game. Brand new five for the West. By Coach Owen Hudson of Bishop Moore Catholic High School. Uh, finished just his second year at Bishop Moore, but was an assistant at Lake Howe High School for probably about a good seven years prior to, and uh, has was played a major major part in the success over the past years for Lake Howe in that program. And one of those players that he coached was Chandler Parsons. Joseph Katuka with the rebound, deciding to show some handles. Picks well, his dribble up. I don't, comes I, don't, and gets I don't agree with that move by him. That's like the fourth time that he's tried to dribble up instead of just giving the ball to his point guard. Because he takes three or four dribbles and stops before he gets to half court. That's not a good move at all. Round one, Saluskis. Finds Eric Rodriguez. Skip. Good pass. Great pass. Vita Saluskis and almost a nasty dunk by Taylor Parson. I mean, he's waiting, he's waiting on him. He hustles, though, and a charge taken by Yotio. I mean, if you see that again, Taylor Parson waiting on the defender. And that might have cost us a little bit. And again, early early candidates, Tanner Parson, Joe Rodriguez, Gary Clark for MVP for the West All Stars. Who do you have in mind for the other side, Brian? Well, if I'm looking at the East, although it's quite early, I've, I've got to be giving special consideration not only to Vitas Saluskis, but Juan Alvario and Javi Gonzalez. But uh, as we saw from the earlier games, the guys who were putting up points in the first half kind of fizzled it's, out. It's usually the guys who, who put that strong second half. Oh, and there's that backdoor to Parsons. And, I mean, Parsons is showcasing why he, he is great top 20 nationally. Saluskis finds Lamb. That was a pretty unselfish play there. It was. But, of course, these guys have been playing together since the ninth grade. And Warren yeah. to Yotio. But I and that's how the first half ends. Our score, the West, 63, the East, 49. We're going to a break, and we'll be back with a few stats, some other information. And the second half of action from the 2007 Senior Showcase.